Yo guys, it's your boy Fabian back again with another video. It's time for another Eurovision 2024 reaction and it's the turn of Austria. So representing Austria in this year's Eurovision is Colleen with We Will Rave. We knew this was gonna be the song representing Austria. We got announced like a month and a half ago, but we just got the video now. So we're gonna be checking it out and I can't wait. But before we check it out, make sure you subscribe down below, press the bell notification button down below so you can be the first to know when I upload. Check out my reactions to this year's Eurovision because I've reacted to everything so far and keep an eye out because I will be doing the rest. But let's stop the talking and crack on with the video. Austria's entry to Eurovision 2024, Colleen, we will rave, let's go. Okay, so the first 15 seconds, this one feels like it's going to be an upbeat one. And to be honest with you, that is to be expected when the name of the song is We Will Rave. You'd be a bit disappointed if the song's called We Will Rave and you're not going to rave. So, yes, this one feels like it's going to be upbeat. And, uh, yeah, it's feeling a little bit like a summer anthem. Let's see, though, because, listen, Eurovision has the tendency, you think one thing, something else happens. It's not the end, so I go. Okay, so that one was really nice. It picked up from the first initial 15 seconds and now it's starting to feel like a rave. And I've been telling people with these reactions here, when the reaction started for this is Eurovision, I thought we've got a very boring Eurovision on our hands. Then as time went on, and we are where we are now, right, all of a sudden, Eurovision's like a rave this year. You've got proper anthems. It's a little bit of a throwback as well. But you know what, yeah, we're gonna have a good time with this one because I'm telling you, yeah, people are gonna be partying. It's gonna be a madness. Okay, I, I had to stop it there. I know people are gonna be like, oh, you stopped it at the wrong part. I've got no choice. Do you know what I mean? Copyright reasons. But also, we have to analyze. But that was kind of the pre hook, I think. It's about to drop now. And I feel like this could go either two ways. We're gonna have um, like, co her continuing what she's doing with the singing, but just a bit more upbeat. Or we might get a bit of like a just, I don't know, ravey music. So. Let's see which way it's gonna go. But I definitely feel it going up and up and up in tempo. I like this one. Yo, what's going on in this Eurovision? I'm actually gonna rewind that and start it again because that is gonna be a nice job. I'm telling you, yeah, I'm telling you, it's a rave. We are raving this year. I'm telling you, everyone get ready, yeah. Listen, if you're going out on that Saturday, what time is Eurovision on? Hmm, final, final. If this gets to the final, yeah, or all of these anthems get to the final, if you're going out that evening, you might as well use Eurovision this year to pre-drink and then hit the town because th what more do you want, do you know what I mean? These songs are sick. I'm telling you now, yeah, all of these songs this year, they've turned your vision into a rave, right? But you've got countries that you kind of wouldn't even think, in a way, right, would be making these songs. So, Austria, right, releasing a song, or picking this song to represent them at Eurovision, is wild. You just wouldn't think it. Netherlands, for example, you kind of would just because um, that's the kind of music they like a bit more, or at least they're known. Austria, yeah, maybe they like this kind of music too, but no one really talks about going to Austria to listen to this kind of music, do you know what I mean? Whereas Netherlands, you kind of do. But honestly, regardless, it's such a vibe this year. Do 
Do you know what this is? This is like, this is like when I was younger, right? And I was going like out when I was like back in Albania on summer holidays, you know what I mean? Like, it's just feeling very inner, very Edward Meyer back in the day. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's actually crazy what's going on. Like, this, man, I love this kind of music. Do you know what I mean? I love this kind of music. Um, <laughs> this is why I'm saying to you, I don't like the ballads when it comes to Eurovision. Now, this year we haven't got much of that. Like, if I'm being completely honest, like, we've got so many nice high tempo high energy songs here it's kind of hard to complain about eurovision this year now unfortunately my country um well uk and albania albania's gone like it's not looking great do you know what i mean it's not looking great just because it's a nice song but yeah the tempo now pff, that one's low but this one i love it Listen, if you're from Austria, let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about this entry. If you want my opinion, I think you should be very, very, very happy with this one because I don't really know what more you'd want, if I'm being completely honest with you, because the vibe's there, the energy's there. Um, I don't know what she's going to sing like live, but regardless, what we've seen here, the song is very, very nice. But either way, let me know in the comments below what you think. God, it's actually so good. It's so, so, so good. Like, I don't know, like, I was not expecting this. When I say not expecting it, like I said at the beginning, songs called We Will Rave, you expect it to be like a ravey song, but I just wasn't expecting it to be like this, like melodic, or this nice, I mean, like, this is a vibe. Honestly, this is a vibe. I really like this. <laughs> Okay, so we got a switch up now and let's see where this is gonna go because there's been a few countries like this Why is there an ice cream van right now when the weather is like this? I have no idea, but you see this is what I'm saying. It's a summer song. I'll stop playing this one Ice cream van comes. Do you know what I mean? Even he's starting to think it's summertime. So yeah, um, Austria with this one very summery I like it. I really like it. But I'll give my overall opinion at the end. Yep, it's definitely a rave. 100% a rave. Um, but let me know in the comments below who is Colleen? How long has she been about? Does she make this kind of music all the time? I don't know who she is. It's a familiar name, but I think that's just because the name's familiar, not because I know her. But either which way, let me know in the comments below um, who is she, how long has she been about, how old is she. Just tell me something about this, so I get to know a little bit better. When the Um, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know why anyone would not like this. What I would say is two things actually This one feels more like a song um, So like a chart song more than a Eurovision song one and two It kind of goes against what I've always said where I think every country should have something f like Symbolizing is their country whether they're speaking it in their language whether they're using I don't know traditional mu um, instruments whatever it might be this one's not doing either of those, so yes, um, that's probably like the bad side of it. But to be honest with you, I really like this, so I'm kind of gonna go against what I've been saying and just forget that because I really like this. All right, 
guys, that's it for checking out Austria's entry to Eurovision 2024. And my opinion is very simple. I really like this entry. I think it's very catchy, it's memorable, the chorus is nice, the music is nice, it lives up to the name of the song as well. Um, the only thing we don't know is how is she gonna sing this live? What I would say is I don't think you need to be the best um, singer when it comes um, to this kind of song. So, um, yeah, it remains to be seen. But for me, it's a very, very good entry. One of the stronger ones this year. I think it 1 million percent gets to the final. And I'm really looking forward to this. So Austria, very nice entry. Good luck for the semi-finals. And I can't wait to see it. But that's it for the video, guys. I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Comment below with some more suggestions. I'll try to check it out for you guys as always. But I am going to have to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching. Keep yourself safe out there. Have a good day. Have a good evening. And until next time, guys, I hope you have a good one. Thank you.